Hey guys, I was going to give you a quick review and show you my setup on the Quincy QT54 vertical dual stage 220 volt air compressor. Uh, it's been a pretty good compressor. I've only had it for a few weeks, but I'll show you a couple jobs I've done with it and some of the tools that I've run, explain some of the tools I've run off of it. I've got my little air compressor room here to kind of keep it a little bit quieter in my shop. Here's my beast. Like I said, it's a Quincy QT air compressor. Um, it's only had this thing probably about three or four weeks now. Um, so far, it's been a really good compressor. Of course, what are you going to know in a few weeks? Uh, my little setup right here, a lot of my friends call it my Frank compressor setup. Just a, another way to try to cool the, cool the air because this is a two-stage compressor. Uh, you'll see it. Here's some of the specs on it. I've got it run right now with a six gauge uh, to a 50 amp breaker in my shop. Uh, I don't really use the turn on switch here. I've just got it off right now. I just flip the breaker on and off in the shop. This is a dual stage compressor, meaning that it's got two different size cylinders on it. It's got the bigger cylinder. And then it's got a smaller cylinder on it. The smaller cylinder then pumps the air pressure up even more to get you to around 175 PSI. I've got this system, I've got it about 165, and then I've got my regulator set up right here. And I just keep it at 100 because most of the air tools in the shop run 90 to 100 pounds. Uh, it goes out of here. This is just CPEC water line that I had left over from building my shop. It runs into the Frank compressor setup here, just a bunch of copper lines. Basically, is all it does is go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, try to cool it off a little bit. Each drop does have a valve on it, so I can dump that. Uh, once it comes out, it'll come out through here, go up, and this is blue silica. Uh, it will turn pink when it's got too much moisture and it's no good anymore. Uh, then it goes straight out of here into my shop. Um, it's not too bad. In the in here, the, the DB on it runs at about 88 decibel. I'll kind of let you hear real quick. It's not too bad for the size of the compressor that it is. It does pump up extremely fast. I think they advertise six and a half minutes to 175 PSI. Um, and it'll do it. it. It's very quick. All right, I'll kind of just go through a couple things that I've used to to build this here. Uh, like I said, the wire coming in is six gauge, running off of a 50 amp breaker. Um, to the outlet, half inch, just eight inch piece of uh, gas pipe, steel pipe, running to half inch shark bite to half inch line. Also got half inch copper um, on that. Just sweated everything together, just, you know, just normal copper. Um, building the radiator out of it basically. Down on the bottom, I've got drop valves on each one of them. That way I can drain each, each and every one of them. Usually on this one here, the first one's gonna have the most water in it because it's gonna be the hottest, hottest coming in. After that, there's less and less water. Usually by the time it gets to the last one here, there's not much water left in it at all. Into a two and a half inch clear PVC pipe. Um, I had to get that on eBay. Couldn't really find anybody around here that had clear PVC. And that stuff is not cheap. I think I gave $25 for a two foot piece of it. And then I just went to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, can't remember which one really, and got fittings for it. Now on the inside, right here on this coupler, I took just a little piece of screen and just hot glued it on the inside here. That way the beads don't shoot up through the line. Uh, then it goes directly out of here into the shop. Uh, now we'll go to the shop and I'll kind of show you what rig up I've got in there. All right, guys, here's my shop. I'll kind of show you how I got it running. My shop is very dirty at the time. Working on a project truck in here, so I've got parts of it spread everywhere. Basically, the line comes in right behind that airplane there. It comes in and across, and I've got it teed off to a hose reel there and a hose reel there, a couple 50-foot hose reels. That's all I've got. My shop's a 30 by 40, so it doesn't really need more than a 
50 foot of hose either way. Um, but like I was saying, uh, here's the here's a project I just did with that compressor. So 94 hard body, Nissan hard body. Um, I just got done painting it. Still got to do some wet sanding and buffing. It's not the best paint job, but uh, that's kind of you know you go get some dirt and some specks in it and stuff like that from the from the driveway. Um, but I do want to give a shout out to the gunman and his channel. Um, he's awesome if you want little tips and tricks on, on painting cars and so on and so forth. He's been doing it for years and he knows his stuff. I DA'd the whole entire truck. I painted the whole entire truck. Um, the hood, the fenders, everything. Never had an issue with it whatsoever. Never, never lacked for any kind of air. It always kept up with it, even with a DA sander. I actually got tired of sanding for the first time. Usually I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for it to build up. For the first time, I got tired of sanding, so I had to set it down for a little bit. The compressor, it runs good, but it runs hot because it is a, a, a dual stage air compressor and they do run a lot hotter. I've heard up to 200 degrees outlet on the air. So be sure to drain it daily. If you run it more than an hour or so, especially in the heat, um, like today's 96 degrees, I'm sitting here soaking wet, sweating, and I've only been out here a few minutes so far. Um, be sure you drain it. I drain that and I drain all my drop downs and I get water out of them every time just, just for an hour running. Not, not a whole lot of water, but there is water in it. So the more moisture you can keep out of the system, the better. So that's kind of the only dryer I've got on it right now. I'm experimenting with it to see if I need to add another one. Um, we'll see how that goes once I paint more. But like I said, I've already painted a whole entire vehicle, uh, jammed it out and all, and didn't have a problem with air or water in the lines. Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions or anything like that that I can try to answer, I'd be more than happy to. Um, this is just a hobby of mine. I do it on the side, just play around building cars and whatever I can get into. But I sure appreciate you for watching the video. And if you like it, please smash the like button. Have a good one.